Hey everyone, welcome to 650 Fusion. Drew here coming to you from Dublin Fitness Center. Thanks a lot for joining me. All right, I have got myself spotlighted. In the chat room, I put today's program. Um, as you've learned, if you've done this class the last couple of weeks, well, I started teaching it at, at the beginning of October. I will lead you through the repetitions. So you don't have to count if you just wanna follow me the whole time, but if you are moving at a quicker pace or slower pace, that's okay. And you can reference the chat box for the exercises in case you forget, but I will do plenty of cueing so that you should feel comfortable with where you're at the whole time. And we're gonna go ahead and start and get warmed up and then we will get into today's program. So I'll stand up. You can go ahead and stand up. First thing that we're gonna do is start to get some blood flowing into our upper back. So I want you to start with your hands out in front of you, open up and then wrap the arms around yourself. Just go as far as you can with that. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as you open up. Getting out all those pops and cracks in our joints. And now let's have the hands out to the side, one palm up and one down. Rotate through your shoulders and your wrists. Good, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna go down on the ground. We're gonna go into a Spider-Man rotation. So with this, you're up into a high plank position. Big step forward and then take that hand closest to the foot, open up, hold, and then rotate or go to the other side. Open up. Let's do one more on each side. Switch. And then let's go ahead and lie down flat on our back. So for today, I will be using dumbbells. I'll provide some modifications if you don't have dumbbells or if your dumbbells are too light. We'll make sure we find a good intensity level for everybody. And I'm doing glute bridges now. So laying down just glute bridges, working on that hinge and activating the glutes and push up towards the top. All right, let's pause there. While I'm on my back, I'm gonna flatten my lower back into the ground. I'm gonna hold that there with my core on, raise up my legs, and then with either legs straight or knees bent, an alternating leg lower. Keep that back flat to the ground. And good, stop there, I'm gonna flip over. I wanna go ahead and work in some mountain climbers here. So back out of that high plank position, just about a 50, 60% pace. And standing up, if you have a weight, you can go ahead and grab it right now. We just need one of them. I want it up at your chest, I'm gonna hold it here. I'm gonna squat down, press up overhead. Squat and then press up overhead. And if you have your own music, I recommend go ahead and get that music going. That's gonna help keep the energy up. Starting to feel that heart rate climb right now. All right, and then just continue holding it at your chest and let's warm up with the single leg. So reverse lunge on one leg. Switch. If you're new to Fusion, welcome. I will lead you through the pattern, so don't worry about it too much. You'll catch on to it. Good, we'll go ahead and set that down. All right, we'll get going here in just a second. I wanna check our participant count. Good class size, 13 of you guys today. Thanks a lot again for joining me. You get one sip of water and we'll get going. All right, so starting with our pyramid format, 
We started 10 repetitions and our exercise for, today, for 10 repetitions is gonna require two dumbbells. If you're comfortable with kettlebell swings, you can probably use a heavier weight. This is a dumbbell skier swing. So I hold my dumbbells to my side. You're gonna make sure you hinge by pushing your hips back, keep your back flat, then pop forward, catch them about shoulder height, and then back down. So a skier swing will be 10 reps. If you don't have any dumbbells, you obviously probably don't wanna just do this with no weight. So just do a squat jump 10 times. All right, 10 repetitions, round one. And then round two, we do 10 repetitions of it again. So essentially 20 in a row right now. Ready? Let's go. I'll count reps. So if you don't want to count, you don't have to. Even if it's not the heaviest weight, squeeze those glutes as you fire through. Eight, nine, 10. There's my round one. I'm going to go real quick into round number two, another 10. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're alternating between upper and lower body. Move for nine reps today as a dumbbell bent over row. We'll do this out of a neutral hand position like this. I'm going to bend over, keep my chest parallel to the ground, my core supporting me here. Pull and lower. About one second up, one second down. Nine times. If you don't have weights, do push-ups instead. Still working the upper body. Eight, nine, that's round number two. Round number three, we're back in the swings. We'll start following this pattern. You'll fall into a nice rhythm. 10 skier swings, go. Well, push those hips back and pop them forward. Accelerate as you come forward. Nine, 10, quick transition into your dumbbell bent over row for nine repetitions. Brace that core, nine reps, or no dumbbells, do nine push-ups. Show me that good control, seven, eight, nine, good. For this next one, I will hold one dumbbell, but you can also do body weight. I'm gonna hold it down low and I'm gonna do a squat jack. Eight repetitions. So this is jump out, land soft, come back in. That's our squat jack. We're doing it eight times with or without weight. Ready, let's go. Six, seven, eight. Back to the top. Back to our skier swing. Dumbbells to your side, 10 reps. Six, hold on, a couple more reps. And there's my 10 reps. Now that quick transition to your bent over row, nine times. Squeeze the back. Eight, nine. I'm gonna hold one in my hand for my squat jack eight times. Well, halfway. Seven, eight. We're going back to upper body for seven. We're going to need some dumbbells on this one. If you don't have dumbbells, go down to the ground, hold a plank hold, and tap your shoulders for seven times on each. If you have dumbbells, you're with me, curl and press. Long arms, curl, turn, and press. Seven times. Five, six, 
Seven. All right, let's do this. We got one more round to attack and then we're going to take a break. If we're working about 70, 80%, let's finish this last round here. Get up to 100. Starts with skater swings. Let's go. Eight, nine, ten. Then over row for nine. Eight and nine. Squat jack for eight. And just keep on going at your own pace. I'm trying to work at a, at a more average to slow pace. So if you're faster than me, that's fine. Six, seven, eight. Back into our upper body, curl and press. If you didn't have dumbbells, you're doing plank shoulder taps on the ground. You can feel that heart rate. Climbing, it's gonna climb a little bit more until we get to our first break. Four, hold on, strong arms. We go back into legs for six. One more. I'm gonna put those down. I'm gonna make sure they're out of the way. And I'm gonna tap six speed skaters, six on each side. So this can be stepping here. So one and one, two and two all the way to six, or you guys know, we're jumping, we're floating. It doesn't have to be super quick. I want some more power with it. Three, four, five, and there's my sixth right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a break. All right, a good time right now. If you have questions, let me know in the chat box or you can unmute yourself, get some water, and then we'll be back to work in one minute. That's our warm up round. So we got more to come for sure. We're going to be working hard today. All right, we'll go about 30 more seconds left. And so now we'll go through that whole routine that we just did for those first five rounds. We'll add three more rounds into it and then we'll take another break. All right, dumbbell skier swings are our first move. If you're feeling comfortable with the moves, if there's any, any way that you have heavier weight, then I would definitely encourage you to challenge yourself today to grab those heavier weights, especially on moves like these skier swings. Our hips are strong, they can, they can uh, swing quite a bit of weight. All right, skier swings, 10 reps, let's go. Eight, nine, ten, then over row, nine. Keep that head down. Feel your core active. If someone hits you in the stomach, your core should be active. Eight, nine, squat jack, eight times. Seven, eight, good. And then seven, dumbbell curl and press. This one can get pretty challenging on the arms if you need to and you get it up to your shoulders, do a little squat, help accelerate them up overhead. Maybe not now, but later in the class, you may need those legs. Five, six, seven, all right, I'm gonna put those down, check the six feet skaters, and then we're into our next move. Six on each side if you can for me. Four, five, six, good. Introducing move number five, we're going to 
go total body on this one and do a reverse lunge with the bicep curl. I'm gonna have use right now, step back with your left leg. So I go back with my left and down, then up and curl, that's one. We're only doing this side. Back with the left and down, up and curl, that's two. Follow me all the way to five. Four. Five. Back into skier swings. I'll keep track of what leg we're on, but back to 10 skier swings. Quick turn around. Nine, 10, bend over rows. Stay focused this round. I need you all at 100%. If you're not there, tweak something to get there. Heavier weights, higher intensity on some of the cardio moves. And keep a controlled pace on the rows. Notice I'm not just letting the dumbbells drop to the ground. I'm in control. There's nine, eight squat jacks. Seven, eight, seven dumbbell curl and press. Five, six, Seven, good. Dumbbells down. Each skater for six. Three, four, five, six. A reverse lunge and bicep curl again. This round, step back with your right leg, curl as you come up. Right leg back, down, curl one. Hey, if you really want to increase your challenge, balance and curl. There's my five already. I can go ahead and put those down. All right, and for the first time today, we're going down onto the ground. We're gonna work a slow tempo push up. You can do this with your hands elevated on a wall, a bench, or anything. You can do it on your knees, you can do it on your toes. You're lowering down two to three seconds, and then you power up. So it'd be here, push up, one, two, three, up. Four times, like that. Be patient. Patient on the way down. Three. Four. All right, stand up. One more round, we take a break. Dumbbells in hand, 10 skier swings, 100%, don't slow down, you know you got that break coming. Back and pop forward. Come on, even if it's not the heaviest weight, you can squeeze your glutes as you push through. Wake them up, when we sit a lot, the glutes don't do anything, we need to work them. There's 10, bend of a row. Same thing, when we sit a lot, our back's not doing anything. Let's work that back. Nine reps, one second up, one second down. Eight, nine. Squat jacks, that heart rate's not up there. This is where we start to build it. Eight times. Drop down low. Explode on the way up. Six, seven, eight. All right, dumbbell curl and press. Remember, if arms are getting tired, start working a little bit of a squat to push them up. Sweats feeling good. We're right where we need to be at. 
your body's telling you, stop, I want a break, then you're doing exactly what you need to do. Keep pushing, two more. Dumbbells down, attacking six feet skater. Five, six. Reverse lunge bicep curl. All right, this round we're stepping back with the left leg. You could do a knee drive, balance and curl if you want to. Five, good. Low tempo push up for four. And then we got another move on the ground. Both time I'll push up four times and then stay in the ground. Three, four. All right, this combo, you can break it down into just plank jacks. You can do just a plank jack and the knee drive in or you're gonna do the full thing I'm gonna show you here. This is a plank jack. We'll do it three times, a knee tuck, and then a jump up. So it looks like this, just watch, don't do it yet. One, two, three, in, up, that's one. All right, so if you don't wanna do that whole jump up, you don't have to, but do three jacks and either jump or step in. All right, we got three of that combo. Let's work hard and then we break. One, two, three, and up. And up, I got one more. And up, stop landing, and a break. Go ahead and get some water. Nice job there, everybody. Ever done uh, group fitness here in this studio? If you're from Dublin, you're probably familiar with those days where that heat clicks on during the weather change. Today is one of those days. I regret wearing pants today. It has got to be a good like 75 degrees in this room right now. But just make me sweat more, right? Okay, I'm breaking about 30 more seconds. So sometimes when I write these fusion programs, when they have quick transitions like today from that swing to the row, those first four moves are really quick. We can fly through this program. I've got a feeling we'll have a little bit of extra time today. So anyone that wants to stick around and do some extra work, we'll probably do some triceps some glutes, some smaller stuff, nothing crazy intense. Feel free to, if we have like anywhere from, let's say three to six minutes left, do some extra work today up to 1240 time. For now, we got two more rounds left of fusion to reach our first goal. Goal number one, let's attack these rounds. Skier swing in three, two, one, let's go. Let's have some fun, keep that energy up. You're here to get better, and these last two rounds are what is going to get you there. Eight, nine, ten. See, here's that quick transition to bend over row nine times. I know we're tired, but keep that form locked in. If it's breaking down, lower your weight. Seven, eight, nine, squat jack. There's my eight, good. Eight of those, curl and press. Strong arms here, use the legs if you need assist. Six. 
seven. Speed skaters. Be powerful with them, don't just step. I need 100%, show me what you're capable of. I know a lot of your names, I know what you can give me. All right, good, I think I just did an extra one, but no problem with that. Speed skaters, reverse lunge, bicep curl, step back with your right leg. Try to work on that balance. Four, five. On the ground, back to back moves. Slow tempo push up. For four. Three. Four. All right, I'm gonna shake out the upper body real quick. Wipe away that sweat. Get ready for these tucks. Three jacks, tuck and tuck jump. Three times. One more. Landing, three in. All right. Move number two and move number one are timed. Move number two is a hot potato squat, two 20 second rounds. So how this looks is I've got my dumbbell here and I'm going to squat and then either throw or change hands over to the other side, catch with soft legs, throw or change hands. So if you get really comfortable, then you're tossing it like that. If you don't have a dumbbell, you're low, you're high, low and high. Two 20 second rounds, get ready for round number one. Set, go. Keep an eye on that dumbbell. It's nice soft legs. Three, two, one. Round one, get ready to do it again. And then we're into our final round of fusion. Three, two, one, here we go. Soft legs. Don't let that dumbbell drop below your shoulder. Three, two, one. All right, guys, last round. In class or when we were on site, we'd have a break here. Not today, we're continuing to work. 10 swings, let's go. Eight, nine, ten. Cross it off your list. On the rows. Six, seven, eight, nine. Another one down. Squat jack. Six, seven, eight, curl and press. I know it's feeling more and more difficult, but we should also be feeling that sense of relief. We're almost done. Dig deep. Five, six, Seven, speed skater. Five, six, reverse lunge curl. Your choice, whatever leg you wanna to do to step back with on this last round, I'll step back with my left. Four, 
four, five. On the ground. Final four moves of fusion. Four push up. Lower down slow. There's our four push up. Three of our plank jack combos. Modify as you need to, but just let's dig down deep, attack it with 100%. One, two, three, in, and up. Last one. Good luck. Hot tail squat. Get in place. You should be good for about five minutes of extra work for anyone that wants to stick around. So we got two 20 second rounds of hot tail squat. Ready? Let's go. Get that acceleration with your legs. Both actually accelerate and decelerate. And stop round one. Couple quick breaths. In place, set, go. Last time. Ten seconds. Stop. Dumbbell down with it. All right. Look in the chat box. You probably saw what we're finishing with. One minute of mountain climbers. I'll be honest. This is not going to be easy. It was tough for me to type it in there, but I know it's good for us, and I know we're capable of getting through this. If for any reason you're slowing down on the climbers, hold the plank. Low or high, drop on your knees, but stay engaged. Nobody gives up. You can give me one minute of your best effort. Ready? Let's go. We're up in a high plank and we're driving. Driving the knees, steady pace. Wait for my cue on those last 10 seconds. It's an all out sprint. It's the only way we finish today. Sweat's probably dripping off you right now. Embrace it. This is what you're here for. Stay engaged, stay engaged. Don't slow down that rhythm. We're just past halfway. Continue on, let's go. We're all getting closer. Ready, let's sprint it. 10 seconds. Go on. Beat me to the finish line. Five. Four, three, two, one. Minute of mountain climbers, wrap on fusion. And I see about five extra minutes that we can put in some work. Lower intensity work. I think we'll just do some different muscle groups. So if you wanna stay with me, feel free. We're gonna do that right now. We'll go right into it. Think of this as more of an active recovery. So if you're totally gas right now, I'm not gonna have you do jumps and anything like that, okay? You can do as much or as little as these last five minutes as you want to. We're getting some strength. All right. yeah, that was definitely a quicker program than the first one we did at the beginning of October. All right, move number one. Single or double glute laid bridge. We warmed up with it, so you're either here with both or one leg, and I'll tell you when to switch. I'll show single, ready, go. We should feel these after all the skier swings. Halfway, switch legs if you're doing single.
Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna go back to those alternating leg lowers that we did to warm up. So step one, crank those hips to flatten your back. Step two, raise. Straighter legs is harder. And lower, alternating. You can lift the arms up if you want to. Check that back, keep it tight. Ten seconds. Stop. Feet on the ground. We're going to do our triceps here with a skull crusher. If you don't have weight, you prefer go on a step or a chair or table and do dips. All right. All right. So here you can bring your legs up if you want to. If you want a little more core. Keep the elbows pointed forward. Go a little high rep on this. I'm assuming our weights are a little bit lighter, but if you're burning out, that's okay to stop. Couple more. Good, stop right there. All right, we'll go ahead and stretch out for these last two minutes. So first thing that I wanna work through is we're gonna hit, hit our hip flexor. We'll do this out of a kneeling position. You can also stand by going into a split stance. So my right knee's in front, my right leg's in front. I'm gonna squeeze my left glute, okay? When I squeeze that, my left hip flexor, you can't see it, but over here, stretching, take your left arm, reach, and reach do kind of a side bend. Keep that glute active, lengthen the front side. Yeah, this is a good one here, keep it going. All right, relax, switch. Now you see my left leg's in front. I'm gonna squeeze my right glute, lengthen here, reach with my right arm, a little bit of a side bend. And stop, I'm gonna stand up. Now we're way warmed up, so we, sh we should be able to safely go into this folded up position. If you have back problems, don't fold up, but just do a toe touch with a straight back. If you don't, and you have that flexibility, fold in half. Coming up slowly, probably get a little bit of blood rush to the head there. And then let's go ahead and lock our arms behind us. We're going to push our hands away from our body as much as possible while staying upright. So don't do this to get more distance. Here, pull it across, pull it on the way, feel your chest stretch. And stop there. And that will be a wrap today. Great class, everybody. This has been recorded by the end of the week. We'll be on Fusion. Hope to see you back next week. Bring a friend with you. You know, let's keep getting more and more people to it. But I appreciate all the hard work. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, your Friday, and your weekend.